Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode. Today we have to fix a number of problems that we found while we were testing the game. One of them, very simple to fix, our NPC had no name so I went ahead and named him Walks Alone. I also gave him Slave Bracers. So that's done. I have moved the door marker, that was nice and easy. Now I need a ceiling for my house. I could go into statics and look at the various planks we have, but I'm far too lazy for that. So I'm going to select my house, hit Ctrl D to duplicate the mesh, and make sure this is on, flip it, wait I'm flipping it too much, there we go, flip it around and bring it down. Now we can see the, the, the walls are sort of overlapping, not a problem, I'm going to press S to resize it, left mouse button, there we go, it's just a matter of lowering to a height, a height that I like, like this one, there, ceiling fixed, done. The other two things are a little more interesting. We thought that that trapdoor that leads to the basement, because it is hidden under the bed, uh, to be realistic, we would need to move the bed and we want to put a message. So as I activate the door, I want a message to appear. Now I'm no good with scripts really, but knowing the game well enough, I know what things do in the game and uh, you can sort of um, retro-engineer what's happening. Yeah, that's the one. This one is the script you have on the Ash statue. I'm going to go ahead, copy it and create a new script before I start editing that one by mistake. Uh, message trapdoor. Now what the script does is, when you activate it in the game, it adds the topic Ash Statue. I don't care for that. I'm going to want a message box to appear. We don't know what it's going to say just yet. And then it will activate. In the case of a miscellaneous item, activating it means picking it up. In the case of a door, activating it means opening up. Brilliant. We want to delete this. Uh, you don't actually need to put end the name of the script, so I just don't put it because why type things you don't really need. The message, what can we say? Um, you move the bed. You move the bed to open the trap door. Full stop. Brilliant. Moment of truth. The construction set likes it. It doesn't mean it's perfect. Trapdoor. It just means that the construction set cannot see there is a problem with it, if there is one. Now I'm gonna save that. Close it for now. And I'm going to open Morrowind Edit. Morrowind Edit is yet another editor, much like the construction set. So you see you open all your data files, you select your master files, you double click on your mod, however you don't hit set active because selecting it makes it active. Okay. The layout is different, I don't use it a lot, in fact I only use it to check the scripts. That, that's about it. Script. One thing that I like about Morrowind Edit is that any item, object, that is part of your mod or modified by your mod is not only, you know, it doesn't only have that little asterisk, it's also highlighted in green. So there we have it. Already you can see that we have color, which is nice. It really helps you see uh, the difference between uh, the different commands and, uh, and uh, functions and variables. Indent, so it's nicely indented. Good. And this one, I like that, Convile. It also says there's no error. Now, back in the construction set, if, say, if I forgot to close my quotation mark and I try to compile, it's going to say it doesn't work. And you go, well, it doesn't work, good for me. This one is going to say it doesn't work, but it actually gives you a little bit of an indication as to what is wrong. So usually, unless it's something very subtle, 
and very advanced, you can work out what the problem is, especially when it's something as simple as, you know, closing your quotation marks, closing your brackets, or ending your ifs. So I'm happy with that. This is good. Let's go back to the construction set. I'm not saving a Morrowind edit. I don't want to have two different files. There we go. Okay. So that little script seems all right. Of course, we'll have to check that in game, see that it works properly. But with something that simple, we should be okay. Brilliant. That's one thing done. The last problem was the door. The door to the house itself is locked. For some reason, I was fairly certain you got a key to go with it uh, when, uh, when uh, Lucius goes away. So, we have a number of options. If we look at the dialogue to see what happens when, uh, when Lucius goes away. No, not nudity. Sorry, bod. That's the one I want. <laughs> There you go, that's what happens when uh, you buy the ring, the journal gets updated, you are given his ring, the gold is taken from you, and Lucius loses his own ring. Alright, this is what happens. Possibly I could have, right there, player ad item, a key that we would have to create for the door to the house. We've already created a key for a door, so let's not do that again. I'm gonna have a look at the journal entry, see what happens there. The journal is MS Nucius. Journal, MS Nucius. And this is one where you get, yes, I bought a curse ring from Vodis Nucius, da 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 da. Might be a good idea to say, um, I should use his house. Yeah, we'll have to look at that. Then if you remember the, the game properly, or if you have played it a ridiculous number of times, then you know that Nurcius actually leaves, like he disappears at some point. There he is. That's because he has a script. I'm gonna have a quick look. And it says, well, it's very ugly, we don't have the tabs, but never mind. It says that when you get to the journal entry 100, so that's the one we have up there, uh, basically he disappears after you have changed the cell. So we could also remember when I was uh, testing the game and realized that the door was locked, I did just open the console and I used the command unlock. That's what I did. Well, we could actually do that. Here is my lifesaver. Let's see how the unlock function works because I can use it, you know, in the console. I select the, the door and it unlocks it. But here it says I'm going to have the door or the chest I want or the container I want to open and it says unlock all right looks simple enough right we, we could work with that I could say that when he disappears he leaves the door open so that would be you know the other door thank you for the precision the other door and then here I could change it. Uh, I could say once he's gone, I could move in his house. Simple as that. So the players know the player will know that as long as Lucius is there, the house well is not yours. But once he's gone, it's okay to move it. That's, that's good, I like it. Now we need to get the door ID. Here is our favorite Sadenine. That is Nusius 
house, well, at least for the time being, and we look at the door. It's an X North door 01, which really means it's exactly the same door as uh, everyone else in the village, well, if I selected it properly. Yep. So if I'm gonna use that script to unlock the door, it's gonna have to be a unique door. a unique door. Now I want to save because I'm creating a new object and I've named it IA Door Nursery. So I'm gonna copy that, find my script. Where is it? Where is it gone? Did I actually close it? That happens. Night, but I keep looking for Nicius. All right. So you remember it was like this, but we're going to change that. This is very much uh, a bit of a cooking and tinkering but that should work that should work let's try that it's happy with it gonna save I am going to reopen my borrowing edit and see if Morrowind edit is happy with that little uh, a little bit of cooking I did just there. A bit of a sprucing up, tidying, and moment of truth. Seems all right. Apparently, we have not broken the game. I'm saying apparently, you never know. Okay, let's double check what's happening. When I buy the ring from Lucius, get the journal update that once he's gone I can use his house the house is still locked once I change cell Lucius is going to disappear as per the vanilla crypt crypt <laughs> script but also if everything goes well the door to his house that is now unique will be open because it's still locked that looks good I think we have successfully well successfully to the best of our ability we have fixed the problems we had now that's what I was telling you last week rinse and repeat you save you go in game and you see if you have broken something else but that's it for today. Bye-bye. See you next week.